What's up everyone and welcome back to Film Royalty. In today's video, we're going to take a look at things no one knows about the cast of After We Collided. After We Collided is the long-awaited sequel to the incredibly popular film After. After is a 2019 romantic drama film that was based on a book series written by Anna Todd. The movie had a relatively low budget but managed to make nearly $70 million at the box office, far exceeding any of the production company's expectations. The movie follows the difficult relationship between Tessa, a clean-cut young girl who just began college, and Hardin Scott, a somewhat promiscuous young man who took a particular interest in Tessa. After We Collided continues the story of the first film and stars Josephine Langford, Hero Tiffin, and Dylan Sprouse. While we're all fairly familiar with these actors, there are several facts about each of them that may shock you. Josephine Langford Josephine Langford portrays Tessa in the series. Though she boasts a basic American accent in the film, it may surprise you to learn that she's Australian. She and Hero met just a few days before filming began, after she had been spending a large amount of time concealing her native Australian accent. She does an incredible job at this too, as most viewers would have never guessed that she wasn't from mainland America. She was born in Perth, Australia on August 18, 1997. This made her just 21 years old at the time of filming After, which is incredibly young for an actress to star in such a hot and heavy movie. According to several internet sources, Josephine is said to be just 5 feet 4 inches tall. For a major Hollywood actress, this is far smaller than we would have ever expected. The camera operators in the film have done a great job to hide her small stature, as many of the scenes that display both she and Hero side by side make it seem as though she's only a tiny bit shorter than him. We all know that Tom Cruise is considered to be one of the shortest actors in Hollywood, but Josephine is 3 inches shorter. Who would have guessed? A few years ago, Netflix launched its original series known as 13 Reasons Why. This series was met with equal amounts of praise and backlash, but was ultimately considered to be a success for the company. The series starred Dylan Minnette and Katherine Langford and was based on the 2007 novel by the same name. The story follows fictional characters Clay Jensen, played by Dylan, and Hannah Baker, played by Katherine Langford, in their dark journey through high school and adolescence. Ever since After first made its way to the big screen, fans have been begging to know if Katherine Langford and Josephine Langford were related, and the answer is yes. Josephine and Katherine are sisters, but they never really speak about each other in interviews or on social media. It's unclear why the two stay so far away from each other, but they've never even been photographed together. The two may have a difficult relationship and choose to keep their differences out of the spotlight, but this is just speculation. Interestingly enough, Josephine began acting long before Katherine, but Catherine was cast in her first major role a few years before Joe. Josephine was asked in a recent interview if she would be interested in starring alongside her sister in a future project, and she mentioned that she would be all in. Regardless of this, the two have never even been seen together in public. Now that we know a little bit more about Josephine's family, it's important to mention her parents. Her parents have remained behind the scenes throughout the careers of both of their daughters, and there's a good reason for that. They are both considered to be traveling doctors, and they venture to various parts of the world to rescue people in rural areas who have been badly injured. These injuries can range from snake bites to broken limbs, but they are almost always roaming around looking for lives to save. It's so strange to see two young actors arise from a household that was run by doctors. They are certainly continuing their family's legacy in a very different way. Even though Josephine made her big screen debut somewhat recently, she's been acting for many years. One of her first appearances was in the film Passion of the Christ. She played an extra in this movie, which proved to be one of the most highly debated films of all time. Her role in the film was almost non-existent, but she can be seen in the background of a few shots, if you look closely enough. She also starred in the low-budget film Wish Upon, back in 2017. This film was a horror flick that starred Ryan Phillippe, Joey King and Shannon Purser. Aside from films, she also appeared in the Australian television series Wolf Creek. She was in the series for just two episodes before leaving the show, later making appearances in the Hulu original series Into the Dark. Josephine has also proven herself to be incredibly private, which is why much of her personal life is unknown. She is almost non-existent from social media, and this was intentional. She mentioned in a recent interview that her personality type does not mix well with social media. She said, My brain has so many qualities that do not work with social media. I'm an overthinker, I'm overly private, and those two personality traits do not work when it comes to Instagram. Because of this, no one knows if she's dating anyone or really anything about her life off of the big screen. She doesn't answer many questions about her private endeavors, so it's unlikely we'll hear anything about her private life any day soon. However, she does have an Instagram, which she posts to occasionally. Hero Finds Tiffin 
Hero Tiffin is a young man with an incredibly powerful name and career and personality to go along with it. He is considered to be the internet's latest heartthrob and is expected to accomplish incredible things in the near future, including and in addition to his appearances in the After series. He made his first breakthrough in 2019 with the release of After, but he has been in the film and television industry since 2007. He is very close in age to Josephine, having been born in 1997 and also being just 21 years old when the first film was in production. He is a whopping 6 foot 3 inches tall, which further exemplifies the incredible work that was done by the camera crew to conceal the height difference between the two stars. He was born in early November, giving him a Scorpio star sign. Josephine, on the other hand, is a Leo. These two star signs are known to be wildly compatible and make for legendary couples. There have been rumors that Joe and Hero were dating while filming the first film, but these rumors were never backed by any real truth. It remains to be seen if the two will become romantically involved in the future. Hero was originally born in the UK. Much like Josephine, he had to conceal his accent for the film, but you can certainly tell that it peeks through here and there in various scenes of the movies. He did a great job hiding his nationality, but we have to give the award to Josephine for completely wiping her accent off the face of the earth for the film. Better luck next time, Hero. Most Hero fans will likely be surprised to find out that he made his first big screen appearance back in 2009 when he played Tom Riddle in the chart-topping film Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Tom Riddle eventually turned out to be Voldemort, meaning that Hero could technically claim that he played Voldemort on his resume, right? Not quite, but it's strange to rewatch the film and see him portraying such a vastly different character in his earlier years. Interestingly, Hero wasn't chosen for this role by mere chance. Rather, he's the nephew of Ralph Fiennes. Ralph is known for playing Voldemort throughout the entire Harry Potter franchise, and Hero was likely chosen to play a younger version of Voldemort, as the two very slightly resemble each other. He is also related to Joseph Fiennes, another popular actor who is known for his role in The Handmaid's Tale, released by Averon Pictures. Aside from his role in the Harry Potter franchise, Hero also acted in the films Private, Peaceful, and Safe on BBC Two and Netflix. Hero is also a relatively private individual, and his relationship status is currently unknown. He's a bit more active on social media than Josephine, but he doesn't have a Twitter or a Snapchat. He has over 1.1 million followers on Instagram though, which is quite impressive. Dylan Sprouse Dylan Sprouse is a young man who needs no introduction. We all love him because we all likely grew up watching him. Dylan is most well known for his involvement in the Disney Channel series The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. He is the twin brother of Riverdale star Cole Sprouse and the two have acted alongside each other for many years. Cole has been an active actor for nearly his entire childhood and much of his adult life. However, Dylan took a rather extensive break from acting between 2012 and 2017. He is the oldest of the twins, having been born about 15 minutes before Cole. His acting career stalled in 2012 when he began attending college. He had no immediate plans of returning to acting but began appearing in small productions once again in 2017 when he assumed the role of Lucas Ward in the director video film Dismissed. He played in several other minor films since then but has most recently revealed that he will be starring in the film After We Collided alongside Josephine and Hero. He will be playing Trevor, a young man who is bound to throw a kink into the relationship between Tessa and Harden. Much of Dylan's life is already known, but many would be surprised to find out that he was a waiter for a short time in a high-end restaurant. He says that he worked as a waiter to feed his video game addiction and allow himself some time away from the screen. He says that he's a person who always has to be doing something, so when he wasn't gaming, he was waiting tables and working as a host. He has since left this job to return to his acting career, and we can't wait to see what he brings to the big screen later this year. With that said, thank you for watching Film Royalty. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and a subscribe.